New this morning on 13 on your side, researchers are touting a new method of testing people for high levels of PFAS contamination. It's an issue that has impacted several West Michigan communities and scientists say this new method of testing could be a game changer. 13 on your side's Veronica Ortega live from Rockford this morning. Veronica, why could this be so important? Emily J, for years, scientists have been able to easily test land and waterways for PFAS contamination. Testing people's blood, however, has not been easy. But researchers at Michigan State say that's about to change. The university's Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology just announced this morning it has developed a way to test people's blood to determine if they have elevated PFAS levels. PFAS chemicals have been linked to a number of health issues, including high cholesterol and several types of cancer. Scientists say this could finally get thousands of people the answers they've been looking for. So if you're familiar with what diabetics do is they'll prick their finger and then they um, get a drop of blood and they put it into a little machine. So this is similar in that you use the same little lancet to prick your finger, but then you use something that looks like a cotton swab to basically suck up the blood from your finger. And that goes into a little clamshell cassette and you put it in the mail and send it in to a company and they can test now your blood for PFAS pretty well. There are some companies already offering the test, like Empower DX, but it isn't exactly cheap with a price tag of $299. Scientists also say that if you live in a contaminated area, check out the website PFAS Exchange. There you can find information on what those elevated PFAS levels actually mean. We have a link to that site posted in this web story at 13onyourside.com. Live in Rockford, Veronica Ortega, 13 on your side.